first stop on the state floor is the East Room. It was designed to be the largest room in the White House because it was intended to be for public receptions and other ceremonial occasions. But for the first several decades, the room wasn't actually finished. When John Adams moved in, they used it to dry laundry. Presidents that followed after him essentially used it as a storage space until Andrew Jackson's presidency, when the room was completely finished and outfitted with furniture. From that time forward, the East Room has served as a place for public receptions, ceremonies, bill signings, and of the eight presidents who've died in office, seven laid in state in the East Room. It's also been a place of joyful occasions, in particular weddings. Nellie Grant, Alice Roosevelt Longworth, and Linda Johnson Robb all had their weddings in the East Room of the White House. Chandeliers that are in the East Room today were installed during the 1902 Theodore Roosevelt renovation. The current edition has about 6,000 individual pieces of glass, and these chandeliers weigh approximately 1,200 pounds each. Probably the most iconic White House artifact resides in the East Room. It's Gilbert Stuart's portrait of George Washington. This was commissioned in 1797 and purchased by the federal government and put into the White House in time for Washington's successor, John Adams, to move in in 1800. But the most famous story surrounding the portrait is its saving. Dolly Madison was given credit for saving the portrait herself. But over time, what we've learned is that while Dolly Madison gave the order for the portrait to be saved, it was a group of people, free and enslaved servants and strangers on the street, who actually came into the White House and assisted taking the portrait down and transporting out of harm's way before the British burned the White House in 1814.